Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn that how to classify a soil uh, using the Unified Soil Classification System and the Ashto Soil Classification System. I have been given a question which states that for an inorganic soil, the following grain size analysis is given. You can see the sieve number and the uh, corresponding uh, percent passing for each sieve. Uh, for this soil liquid limit is 23 and uh, plastic limit is 19 we have to classify the soil using the unified soil classification system and ashto's soil classification system we have to give uh, group names and group symbols okay so first uh, for the unified soil classification system okay so i have uh, written the sieve size uh, for the corresponding c number okay and the percent finer is shown in the next column so for sieve size 4.75 mm percent finer is 100 uh, for 2 percent finer is 90 and so on for the rest of the sieves okay so percentage of gravel uh, which is a size measured from 80 mm to 4.75 mm for this soil is uh, 100 minus 100 which is 0 percent that is percentage of gravel in this soil is 0 because all uh, the soil material is passing through 4.75 mm sieve okay it means that uh, there is zero percent of the soils which is greater than 4.75 mm gravel size is 80 mm to 4.75 mm it means percentage of gravel is zero percent and uh, percentage of sand which is measured from 4.75 mm to 0 0.075 mm it will be simply um, uh, hundred which is the percent finer for 4.75 mm minus 13 which is the percent finer for 0 0.075 mm uh, which is uh, 13 so it will be 100 minus 13 which is 80 cent percent is the percentage of sand in this soil okay percentage of fine fraction which will include slit plus clay it will be less than size smaller than 0.075 mm that is which will pass the uh, 75 micron c which is 13 percent okay and uh, percentage of coarse fraction which will include uh, gravel plus sand okay that is uh, size which is uh, greater than 0.075 mm so it is 100 minus 13 which is 87 percent is the percentage of coarse fraction and all the coarse fraction present in this soil is sand okay now uh, after that liquid limit is 23 plastic limit is 19 so plasticity index will be liquid limit minus plastic limit which is 23 minus 19 which is 4 okay uh, now you can see the table which I have made for this uh, soil. So sieve analysis for the soil indicates that uh, percent uh, finer than number 4 sieve uh, is 100 and uh, finer than 200 uh, sieve is 13. Liquid limit is 23 plus T index is 4. Okay, uh, No information is given about co uniformity coefficient and uh, coefficient of curvature. Uh, from the UCS table uh, we have concluded that more than 50% of the coarse fraction uh, passes uh, for number C that is 4.75 mm, uh, mm C. So it is a sandy soil and symbol S will be used. Also fine fraction of this soil is more than 12%. It is 13%. Okay. So uh, liquid limit of the soil is 23 plus C index of soil, uh, soil is 4 now plasticity index of a line which is given as 0 0.73 liquid limit minus 20 it will be 0 0.73 23 minus 20 which is 2.19 this is the plasticity index of a line and plasticity index of the soil is 4 if 4 is greater than 2.19 you can uh, see that uh, the plasticity index of soil is above the plasticity index of a line it means that the fine part of this soil is clay okay when you see the unified soil classification chart uh, you will find out that plasticity index of this soil is above the plasticity index of a line so fine part of this soil is clay okay okay and the coarse fraction is sand also this soil has zero percent gravel so you can say that soil is classified as clay sand is the group name and the group symbol is sc for the unified soil classification system okay so this was for you uscs now for the ashto soil classification system uh, the percent uh, finer for the three sieves that is c number 10 is 90 c number 40 is 38 and c number 200 is 13 liquid limit is 23 and plus c index is 4 
uh, for this soil we can see that less than 35 percent of the soil passes sieve number 200 that is a uh, 75 micron sieve it falls under granular materials for the ashto soil classification okay percentage passing sieve number 10 is 90 sieve number uh, 40 is 38 and sieve number 200 is 13 liquid limit is 23 percent plus c index is 4 now you will use the ashtos table and proceed from the left to right okay so this is the ashtos table for a granular materials when 35 percent or the less of the total sample passes uh, c number 200 you have to start from left and proceed uh, towards the right the first uh, column which matches to your soil will be your soil classification okay so first we will take a1 and from the a1 we will take a1a so for this limit is that uh, uh, for sieve number 10 maximum should be 50 but uh, in our case uh, percent passing sieve number 10 is 90 okay so this rules out a1a now a1b okay for a1b maximum for sieve number 40 is 50 and for 200 is 25 so both our uh, uh, this uh, soil material passing c number 40 and c number 200 are less than the limits for a1 b so it satisfies our limits now we will check uh, the characteristics of the uh, fraction passing number c number 40 that is fine fraction okay liquid limit uh, it is not specified anything about liquid limit but plasticity index is 6 max in our case it is 4 max so it means that uh, our soil is falling in a1 b group of the ashto soil classification table okay so uh, soil is a1 b and the group index of the soil belonging to a1 b is always zero so you can classify the soil as a1 b and its group index is zero this is according to the ashto soil classification system okay so this is how uh, you can calculate any soil using the unified soil classification system and the ashtos classification system i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learned something new if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box i will try my best to answer your doubts also i have made a separate video uh, using multiple soil samples for both unified soil classification system as well as the ashtos soil classification system you can find these uh, videos on my channel okay i will also attach the link to those videos uh, in this video okay okay and if you found this video helpful you can like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel okay thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned